Hello friends and welcome to the Southern Mountain Kitchen. Today we're making cube steak. So to make cube steak is really not hard. We're going to make a breading for it and then we're going to fry it in a skillet. So you're going to start off with about a half a cup of buttermilk and you're going to add an egg to this and mix it up because this is going to actually be our coating that helps the other ingredients stick to the actual steak. So I'm only going to make two pieces of cube steak, but they're quite large. So they can be cut up and used for more than one person easily, um, depending on how you're using them. So on our plate, we're going to go ahead and add at least a half a cup of flour. And then we're going to add a fourth a cup of Italian breadcrumbs. And then we're going to mix that up a little bit so that way everything is all mixed through. Because we want to make sure that it's a good mixing of the flour and the breadcrumbs. So when you put your steak on it, it's going to coat evenly. So what we're going to do is take one piece of the steak and get it coated in the buttermilk egg mixture. And then bring the other one in on top of it. So this way you're making sure they are completely coated on both sides before you start using them. Now, once you get it good and coated, you're gonna take it over to your flour and breadcrumb mixture, and you're gonna flip this back and forth and get it coated on both sides. Because once we do have it completely coated, we're gonna dip it again, because we wanna make sure we have a good coating of mixture on the outside to actually give it a good breading. So go back into your buttermilk and egg again, and then bring it back over and hit it into the flour and breadcrumbs again, so that way we're mixing it to where it's basically gonna have a really thick, decent coating all over. Now, as you're doing this, you can actually take your fork spoon or whatever and spoon some of the flour on top and press it in to get it really into the grooves of the steak because there's all kinds of holes, all kinds of grooves where this has been chopped up. So you have an opportunity to really load this with your flour. So go ahead with your second piece and do exactly the same thing, flipping it back and forth, then dipping it again, and then coating it one more time. Now, if you had a couple extra pieces of steak, you could keep going on this and actually have more than just two. I only needed two because I wasn't feeding a lot of people. Now, once you get this done, you're going to add some oil to coat the bottom of your pan. You do need a decent amount to make sure that you have enough when you put the steaks in so they don't stick. One thing you will learn about cooking cube steak or other steak in general, they do try to stick to the pan um, and you don't want to pull off your coating. So if you have a decent amount of oil like I have in the bottom of mine, you are fine. But make sure as you're cooking, you continuously flip these back and forth. So now we're gonna add some seasoning. Now mind you, I'm gonna tell you an amount of seasoning, but I'm putting some on top and some on the bottom. So it's a half a teaspoon of pepper, a half a teaspoon of salt, and then a half a teaspoon of steak seasoning. But I'm only putting a little bit on each side, so that way it's kind of coated on both. That way the flavoring goes all over. And then after that, you're gonna add a little bit of adobo seasoning, which we're talking basically just enough to give it a sprinkle. It's probably not even half a teaspoon. And once they have cooked for a few minutes, you wanna flip them. Now, this is gonna take a few minutes to cook this thoroughly. Um, you're probably gonna be cooking more than 10 or 12 minutes. Just keep flipping them back and forth and you're gonna go for the degree of doneness that you want. If you're cooking steak, whether it's cube steak or whatever, the longer you cook it, the more done it is. Um, some people like them just done. Some people like them extremely cooked. It's just going to be your choice of how you want to do it. But continue to move these and flip them until you get this golden brownish color on the outside. And then you know you are getting towards done. Just a reminder, don't let them sit too long before you either flip them or at least move them back and forth in the pan. So that way you prevent sticking. And when you're done, it looks something like this. And this is really a great thing to eat. 
If you like this video, please like and subscribe. And if you get a chance, check out my cookbook, which is available on Amazon and bookstores worldwide. Have a great day.